Welcome to the Tech Data uh, Azure video series. Uh, my name is Sean Taylor, a Microsoft Solutions Architect within uh, Tech Data UK. In this specific video, we're going to look at adding uh, a tenant domain controller uh, across a site to site VPN that we created in one of the earlier videos um, so that we have a, uh, a working domain controller within the Azure subscription uh, replicating from the domain controller that we have in our on-premise solution. So, to begin with, uh, we'll select the virtual machine that's going to become the domain controller, uh, and from there, I've already uh, created a connection. So we've RDP'd into the server itself, uh, and we're quite simply going to add the role. So next, that one. We're going to install a role. Uh, we're going to install it on this server and we're going to install Active Directory Domain Services and that's going to trigger the installation of the appropriate supporting features. So we'll say yes to that one and next. And next. And next. And install. So the uh, installation of the role and features has uh, completed successfully, so we'll just close that one, go to our notifications and follow the promote this server to be the main controller. And um, obviously you can select from the various different options. We are adding a domain controller to an existing domain, it's our Contoso domain and we're doing that using the credentials of the currently logged on user. So we're going to leave this as a domain uh, name server. Uh, we're also going to leave it as a global catalog server. You could create it as a read-only domain controller if you want to do so. It's, in, it's entirely up to you. We're going to go full fat for this particular one. We're going to leave it in default first name site. Uh, we're going to specify a directory services restore mode password. Uh, next that one. DNS is not going to be happy. So we can ignore that because we're actually installing it as a DNS server. Um, and in this instance we will choose... There is only actually a, one other domain controller to choose from so it's largely pointless but uh, we'll pick it from there. Uh, we've actually installed a... Um, we're going to install using the default locations. So next that one, next that one, okay so uh, prerequisites have been checked and we're now going to proceed with the installation. This process will take a significant amount of time so I will pause the video there uh, and we'll resume once the installation is completed. So the installation of, of Active Directory is now being completed. Uh, the virtual machine has uh, restarted and I have uh, remote desktop back in. So we can see that within the server manager dashboard <coughs> Active Directory Directory Services has been added as has DNS and if we go into the admin center or using computers really makes not a great deal of difference. We can see the Contoso domain and within the domain controllers container we can see that this uh, virtual machine has been successfully added as a uh, replica domain controller within the Azure portal. So we uh, connected into the Azure virtual machine, we added the Active Directory Directory Services role, we ran through the installation wizard, uh, that took a, a little while and once it had completed the virtual machine restarted we connected back in and confirmed that the Active Directory Directory Services role and the DNS role had been added 
and we've been able to open and uh, look at the Active Directory uh, database.